it's 2025 and if you're still making clone projects, you're still making weather app, to-do app, then you're setting yourself up for failure because the standard for candidates have gotten extremely high and basic level code or clone level code, even AI is able to do right now. So having such products in your resume is not going to help you. It is not going to make your resume any better and forget cracking the interview. You're going to have difficulty even getting shortlisted for your dream role. So what do you need to do? What kind of products do you need to have in your resume? Let's discuss everything in details. And I'm not only going to give you project ideas, I'm going to tell you how to implement them. And I'm going to tell you what to think in a project to make it valuable and to make your resume more valuable so that it blows the brain of any recruiter that comes across it. So let's get into it. Now, before I start giving you project ideas, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind is don't give your project a very basic name. So if I tell you a uh, event manager, don't call it event manager. If I tell you a productivity planner, don't call it a productivity planner. Call your project a unique name. Think of it as your own startup. Whatever project you're making, think of it as your own startup. Think you're the team of it. Think you're the founder of it and think it is going to help everyone. Whatever project you make, it should be having a purpose of helping someone. If not everyone, it should be helping someone. And of course, it should be helping you because you are the creator of it. So you need to have a certain passion about your project. You need to name the project and you need to find some uniqueness in the project, right? If you don't have this, then even if the project is very good, if you don't have this passion, then to recruit it is going to look like just another clone project or just another basic project that you have made by, you know, finding some idea online. So it is very essential that you have a passion for it. You know the project inside out and you're actually interested in building it. Okay, so make the project give it a good name okay give it a unique name and think you're a startup owner just like for the project think you're a founder of the project and think how you can actually scale it to help everyone you don't have to scale it i'm saying that is how your thought process should be like okay think you're the product owner of that project all right that's how you should be thinking so now let's start with the project ideas so the first idea that i have for you is basically a event collector so I made a hackathon video quite some time back and the number one question that came was where to find the hackathon. And this is a problem that everyone faces. Even people who are appearing for coding contests, they also have this problem. Ki when does the contest happen? Where is the contest happening? Are there any more coding contests to take part in? So people have these various events that are happening, but they don't know about them. So what you can do, you can make a website where you can categorize things by coding competition, by hackathon, by tech event, by a learning event, by a, you know, techathon, something like that. So you can categorize them and what it will be doing basically, it will be scraping the net and it will be finding whatever events are happening. So you can use some API, you can use API of website, coding website to know what coding contests are happening. You can uh, use the API of hackathon websites like Devfolio and other websites are there to know where hackathons are happening. And you can just basically scrape off the web and the internet to know whatever is happening and just basically put them on a calendar. So a person can go on the website and they will get all the information categorized by the hackathon, coding competition, a normal tech event, a normal tech get together so that anyone who wants to attend any of the event, they can do that. Before we start the rest of the video, if you're someone who wants to get a high paying job in the field of data science or AI ML, then you can opt for Odin School's data science elite program. Now, this is not just another online course, but it is a career launching program in which you'll be trained so that you are ready for this country's fast paced technical ecosystem. And unlike any other course, this is backed by industry leading companies like Swiggy, Prolifix, Nouveau Retail, Foursier and IntelliMark AI so that you are ready for exactly what the industry needs. And your mentors as well will be all industry leaders. They'll be basically people who are the master of their domain and they will be all data experts as you can even see on the screen. And apart from this, you'll be getting hands on on the latest tools that are in demand in the industry so that your learning is not just based on theory, but you'll actually be learning things and you'll be building some valuable projects for your resume as well. In the course, you'll get 200 plus hours of online live learning. You'll be getting a capstone project in which you can show off your skills and you'll be getting support in your entire career right from day one. So they'll be helping you in your resume. They'll be helping you in your LinkedIn profile optimization, and they will be helping you throughout your career journey. 
Of course, the most important part, placements. So they've tied up with 600 plus organizations that hire from Odin School. They have 10 plus sprints in which you'll be getting exclusive placement opportunities just for you so that you can apply and get the role that you want. So again, if you're someone who wants to crack the industry with an amazing pay, then this course is for you who all can apply. Anyone who has a bachelor's degree is eligible for the course and you don't even need to have any coding experience as well. You can still apply. So if you want to check the course out, the link is in the description and the pinned comment. Go check it out. They even have an early bird offer going on right now. So yeah, check it out. And now let's get back to the video. So that is the number one project idea. And you don't need to make this exactly the same. And this is for every project idea, right? This is just for your idea. You don't need to make this exactly the same. Now, if you want to know more about the tech stacks that you can use, then that will be in the description box. I'm not going to make this video too technical, but you will find the tech stacks in the description box about what kind of uh, frameworks you need to use, what kind of APIs you need to use. Now, the second project idea is a very good one and it uses AI. So let me tell you right now, any project which uses AI automatically becomes a bit more valuable than the other projects. So if you're using AI APIs, you don't need to basically reinvent the wheel. Simply you can use OpenAI API or Gemini API and do a little bit of AI integration in your project. And that will make your project much, much, much more valuable because obviously everything is about AI nowadays. So having the possibility of getting AI into your project wherever it, you can, it is going to be great for your project. All right. So on that note, here's a great idea, something like a basically AI code reviewer. So as a developer, you might be working on GitHub all the time, right? And you might be having a group project with your friends and there you might be making a lot of PR, you might be making a lot of commits, a lot of code changes. So what you can do, you can use GitHub API, you can use a little bit of AI and you can have sort of a PR reviewer. So whatever PR you are making, you can have the AI give it a score. You can have automatic suggestion based on variable changes, based on code changes. And you can have a basically a passable score, right? That you must follow for committing or for PR review. Here's another idea on the same note. So obviously as a developer, if you've worked in a company, a lot of times you have to deal with huge, huge, huge old code bases, legacy code bases that nobody likes to deal with, right? So what you can do, suppose there's such a code base on GitHub. What you can do is you can integrate AI into it. All right, using GitHub's API, you can have your AI basically interact with the code base and you can just talk with the code base. You can talk like, what does this function do? Why are we passing this variable? And basically have a seamless integration of AI and the code. So having an integration of basically AI and code is going to make your project pretty good because as a developer, you will be using AI, you will be doing coding. And if you're using AI to help you in the code, then all the better. So this is again a great idea where you can use GitHub API, you can use basically AI API and you can use a little bit of front end back end or you can make it sort of like a CLI tool as well. But you can basically make this into a great project, right? That will actually be helpful for many people, especially if you're working as a team on an open source project or even a college project or something like that, right? And if you want help on how to implement it, of course, you can use ChatGPT, you can use Gemini. All these AI tools are there to help you in building your project. More ideas and more on this in the description box. Now, the third idea is basically sort of like a matching algorithm. So, you know, you have multiple places where you match with people. Obviously, you have the dating section where you match with people who you want to go on a date with. And a great innovation in this area is obviously devshadi.com, which is a great project. You can take inspiration from it. It is basically like a dating or a marriage platform for developers where you can upload your GitHub profile and you can connect with people based on that. So you can take this idea and implement it in your own. You can have a website where you can match people based on a certain rating. Suppose if you want to practice with someone for doing DSA and you only want someone with a particular rating, then you can match someone by putting your rating criteria. Or suppose you want to take part in a hackathon, but you don't have teammates. And this is again a problem that majority of people actually face. So what can you do? You can input your skills, you can mention the hackathon and the algorithm will basically match you with the people that are available, right? By either, you know, registering on the website or again by scraping off data or something like that, right? So this is a great idea basically for finding people based on a certain criteria, right? It could be for a hackathon, it could be for an event, it could be for DSA practice. Or you can even go towards, you know, 
the domain of dating or something similar to devshadi.com but overall it's a great idea and you can scale it the way you want and you can you know put your own unique twist to it and make it into a good decent project in fact my college project was also very similar to this which used to impress uh, interviewers a lot right so what i had i had a social media website where which was completely for music lovers so you could connect to people based on your music taste so you could upload your spotify list and the ai will basically judge your taste in music what kind of music do you like and other people can also upload their spotify playlist and you can connect with people on a certain score on a certain mood so every mood will have a score and whoever's score matches the closest to you the algorithm will match you with that person so something like that you know on this track you will find many many ideas and 100% it is going to be a great idea if you implement it well more such details and more ideas in the description box now the next project idea again has a great seamless ai integration and this is sort of a mock interview tool now obviously anyone who goes for an interview is in need of taking mock interviews right and a lot of times people even pay for mock interviews right for another human to take your mock interview but obviously you have ai right now that can take your interview so what you can do you can create a website which will have a dashboard where you can say upload your resume or you can upload your skill you can upload the role that you are appearing for so you'll have certain criteria and based on that you can go for a mock interview now in the mock interview the ai will be judging you based on your textual or your audio based answer you can go either way and it will give you a score after the interview you will see a score card where it will give you score based on your technical skills based on how confident you were in the answer based on you know whether you were good in this like part a or you were bad in part b and you can have sort of a graph based on where you need to improve what topics you need to improve on and then the next interview will be based on top of that focusing more on the weak points and then taking it on from there so this will be a great way to help yourself even you know if you're appearing for job then this will be a great tool to help yourself do mock interview you know rather than paying someone to do it you can have this tool you can build this tool it will not only give you a great project but it will also give you a great platform for basically you know uh, learning and giving mock interviews all right so now we come to the last project idea and of course i've saved the best for last and this is going to be a bit difficult for you to implement so you can try to do it in team or even solo you can do it you can take a little bit of help from ai for implementation and of course you can take help from ai for all of these projects right so this is basically sort of like a entire career management portal so suppose you're a fresher or you're a person who wants to go for a switch there are multiple things you need to keep track of you need to keep track of your preparation you need to keep track of job hunting you need to keep track of you know how confident you are in your technical prowess so all of these things are there that you need to manage once you go for job hunting or once you go for excelling in your career so what you can do you can have a portal complete portal which will track everything okay so some features of this portal can be you can upload your resume you can upload the job that you want to and it will find you job openings it will scrape over the web it will find you job opening another feature could be it will take the job opening go through the jd go through the go through your resume and match it and give you that right now you're only 70% matching to this job here are some keywords put them in your resume and you can make it 90% so it will also help you in improving your resume for the job id by matching it with the job id it will help you in finding the jobs and apart from that you can have a separate section where you're basically logging your progress in dsa you're logging your lead code profile you're logging your code forces profile and based on that it will also show you the improvements that you need where are you lacking what are the topics that you need to improve on so it will be a complete portal which will use ai in helping you excel in your career so you'll have the job hunting part where it will help you in your resume you'll have the progress part where it will help you in your you know preparation in either your dsa preparation your system design preparation based on like what your performance is on those websites you can log in your performance you can fetch the api from those websites and it will be like a complete portal again this will be very impressive if you're able to implement it it might be a bit difficult to implement it it might even be a bit overwhelming obviously thinking that you have to implement this but it is doable and let me tell you it is going to be extremely impressive for the recruiter or the interviewer if you're able to make this of course you can take help from ai 
but don't do it mindlessly. Make sure that you're learning along the way. More than the project idea, it's also important that you're learning something, right? If you just make the entire project with the help of AI and don't learn anything, eventually you are going to end up getting rejected. Most important part, deploy your project. The recruiter needs to be able to see your project, see how it's working, you know, see how basically the features are going on there, right? So make sure that you like deploy your project either on Netlify, Netlify Versal, GitHub, wherever it is, deploy your project, all right? The recruiter needs to be able to see it link it into your resume again give the project a good description give the project a good name don't give it a generic name so these are the project ideas and these are the tips that you must keep in mind again you'll be finding way more details and even more ideas in the description box get to building right away